Hey guys, Antrim here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today is the next episode of TPC Parkour, and I have a pretty decent amount to talk about, so if you guys want to hear, you know, some good things in this video, uh, the things that I'm going to be talking about, then feel free to continue on. I'm going to try and make this a short-ish episode, because I don't have a ton of time today. Uh, so let's just go ahead and let's get started here. The first thing on the agenda is that I got an email from a guy by the name of Ribshark, who sent me this, and if I go ahead and I teleport here, I can actually disable the anti-cheating system, and the anti-breaking system, but I don't need to break that one. But, um, yeah, the reason why I like to do this is because I like to take actual pictures of, you know, things around the area when I'm doing thumbnails, and, uh, it's really a problem with this. I will stay in survival mode whenever I'm doing parkour. I will never fly during that, but the anti-cheating system was very annoying. Uh, what is the stopwatch? Okay, the stopwatch, I guess, is... Okay. Um, alright, so let's go ahead and let's head out of here. So this, I guess, we're back at the beginning now. So the next stage that we have on the agenda is stage 9, and uh, again, I have three things that I want to talk about during this video, so let's just go ahead and let's launch right into it. I believe we've done, have we done the Ruins of the Vast Sands? I'm pretty sure that we've done, um, yeah, we've done, we did stages 7 and 8. Let me just go ahead and let me take one, you know, one look at it. Um, yeah, I, we've, I've definitely been here. I've de definitely, definitely been here. I remember this area now. It's the area where I skipped that one big thing, um, so yeah. All right, let's go ahead and let's do the dark dungeon while we talk about things that are actually not that dark at all. <laughs> all right, uh, first I want to get this figured out, get my orientation set correctly so that we can actually do this because I do actually want to do this in this episode. So this is difficulty normal stage 10 uh, warning, especially multiplayer server. Make sure you play on peaceful mode, which I am on peaceful mode. I actually think the difficulty of the map may be saved to the map itself now instead of um, through your settings file. Not 100% sure on that, but I think that may be the case. But anyway, so it says mobs will spawn in the darkness, um, so it's dark, and then there are repeatable sections. Cool. So this is where we begin, stage 9-1. And let me make sure that my uh, my brightness, yep, my brightness is set to bright. This is bright enough where I don't really have to edit it, though. But anyways, moving on to the sorts of things that I wanted to talk about in this video. So the first thing on my agenda, I have three things written down that I want to talk about, but not like scripts or anything. And that is uh, that I now have sort of, well, I've always kind of had, but I'm going to try and really abide by a video schedule. Uh, not what I'll do on any given day, but more or less that I want to be posting my videos at about, on weekdays, I want to be posting them. Okay, that's a light. I want to be posting my videos right around 2.30 on weekdays, but on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I want to post two videos a day. Um, it's going to be a little difficult to do. I, I, I may actually wind up stressing out a lot if I have to do that um, this upcoming weekend. Um, but we'll see. But for this weekend, I want to have two videos out a day. And every Friday, I want to live stream. I originally was going to do it on Saturday. But, okay, wait. This, this is a normal challenge. There is no difficult jumps here. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Okay, I'm sure that I'm sure that's just a joke. I'm sure I'm sure he I'm sure he's just trolling. He's just trying to troll. Well, uh, maybe he maybe he means that sign to be for me. Ooh, there's a chest up here. Nice diamond. Yay! But uh, I really do want to abide by that video posting schedule. And uh, okay, wait a minute. I also need to head off that way. Bam. Yeah, it wasn't too hard. So. I want to be live streaming more often, and I will plan on doing that every Friday because Saturday has shown that it's going to have schedule conflicts for me to do it. I was going to, it's either going to be on Fridays or on Sundays. That's when I want to do it. Um, and I'm not going to wind up, uh, like every time that I do a stream, I'm not going to post a recap for it right afterwards. Uh, it, that was more or less uh, like yesterday's video. That was more or less because I uh, had a, an extreme lack for time yesterday to get another video recorded. So I decided to go with that rather than no video at all because I thought it was entertaining enough as it was. Um, so yeah, video posting schedule. I have I have now talked about it, and uh, I'm just I'm just trying to scream through the stage like quite literally as fast as I can. I want to get through everything in about ten minutes today, and we're already four minutes in, so we're making pretty decent time. So the next idea on my list is I posted on my Twitter that I had an idea, one of those ideas that kind of changes everything. Well, in this case, I wouldn't say it changes everything, but it's going to change the kind of content that goes on my channel for a pretty decent amount of time now. I have had a sort of lack for survival content, and the reason why that has been is because I haven't had any ideas for it, which is why you guys have seen maybe a rise in minigames, a rise in parkour, a rise in things like that, because survival in and of itself 
is just not really all that interesting enough in my opinion. And I noticed that the lava, the uh, ground, the floor is lava thing that I did recently did quite well. You guys enjoyed it quite a lot, and I enjoyed doing it quite a lot. Beside the fact that my uh, microphone completely super failed on me there, um, I was really quite happy with how it turned out. So what I had the idea for is uh, okay. I need to head off in that direction. Bam! I'm just I'm just run I'm just trucking through this as fast as I can. So what I had the uh, oh. oh. What I had the idea for is um, that I do survival challenges. You know, I uh, I load up a survival world, and uh, I start a map. You know, I, I do one up. Okay, wow, my sprint didn't engage there. I start up an episode where I do one challenge, and that challenge, for example, here's a challenge that I had in mind, and uh, I want you guys to give me ideas on challenges. You know, that's that would that fall under this sort of category, and that is to get a diamond. That's not in a chest and without mining it. So how would you guys go about thinking that I do that? So I'm not talking about do Oh, wait a minute. Where do I go from here? I think I, yeah, I go to here and then I go to here. Yeah, that was just a failed jump. So what I'm basically talking about is using a creeper to get a diamond. I'm not exactly sure if that's possible, but I think it might be possible. So uh, that's sort of like the, the idea of the challenges that I want to go about doing. So what do you guys think of that? Feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below on your sorts of ideas that fall under that line. So the reason why I say they should fall under that line is because I don't want them to, to be things where it's like, oh, find one of every item ever. Like, it's just not that fun of a challenge. Like, for those who suggested, I mean, I understand where you're coming from, how you might think that might be interesting, but that would get old after about episode one. <laughs> I mean, sincerely, that would really get old very fast. So... Okay, there's a block right there. Bam. Okay, let's go and let's head to here. Let's head to here. All right, we're doing good. So yeah, all right. So now, s seven minutes into the episode, we are through two of our topic points. Um, so I suppose we can just go ahead and we can move on to our third topic point. And man, we're, we're, we're making it. We're, we're doing this today, guys. I have a feeling there's something in here. Um, I have a feeling there's one of these chests. Yep, there's a chest. Okay. Ooh, wow. Okay, let's go and let's just take all the things. There's apparently a prisoner's diary in here, too. And uh, I almost read that as Prisoner's Diarrhea. That would have been really bad. Whoa. Okay. Prisoner's Diary. And then there's the rules. And then there's a book and quill. Um, a challenge. Okay. That's just a challenge log update thingy. Um, words, words, and words and stuff. Diary of a Wimpy Prisoner. I might read that like as an as like an epilogue or something. As like an unlisted video at a later date or something. But uh, not now. Not now. I don't. I, I I unfortunately don't have the time to. I really wish that I did. Okay. Oh no. No, I faced the wall at the wrong time. Are you kidding me? All right, actually, I need to truck through this now. Okay, oh, no, nope, 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 nope. Okay, jump. Whew. Okay, bam. I really do need to focus here on this and the... Okay, so it seems like when I'm focusing on, on what I'm doing, I do really bad at it. But when I'm not, that's when I do really good. Okay. There's still one more thing in this video that I want to talk about, and yet things things and stuff are not allowing me to do it. Okay, let's go ahead and let's do that. Bam. Okay. Bam. 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 I feel like my game has gotten a little sluggish all of a sudden. That's really weird. Like where you press jump, but it takes a little bit to, do, to actually make the jump. Okay. Bam. So I got up here. I think I literally failed at the last jump. Okay. So we're almost there. All right. Uh, as soon as I... Whew. Okay, as soon as I make that last jump is when I'll start talking about the stuff I need. No! No, I didn't engage that there! No, I did not. I didn't double tap that time. That time it engaged and I didn't tell it to. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Minecraft? Okay, well, I got to get into the topic point now that we're nine minutes in. But uh, it's pretty short. A lot of you have been asking if I'm going to Minecon, and yes, I will be going to Minecon. And, um... Something that I didn't think I was going to be able to do up until recently is have a filmer filming stuff for me. Um, you know, very similar to the way that my pack stuff was done. I thought we were, I was just going to be, you know, having pictures, ta you know, just like taking pictures with my camera of stuff while I was there. But I wouldn't actually have any videos coming out. But now, I, it seems as if I will have a filmer. I'm, okay, uh, go ahead. Whew, finally, geez. All right, bam. Okay, so this is now 9-10. We're on the final stage, it looks like. All right, 
Let's go ahead and let's do this here. So it does actually look like I will have a filmer. I uh, just had a change of events come up that are going to allow, allow for that sort of situation to happen. And I'm pretty excited about it because that means I'm actually going to have the same caliber of content coming out from Minecon as I did from PAX Prime uh, and PAX. Except it's probably going to be better because it's going to be Minecon. So that's going to be awesome and I'm very, very much looking forward to this. Um, so, And I hope you guys are too. Um, and yeah. So that's pretty much all that I had to say on that front. Uh, do I have to go to there? I think this is a repeatable challenge. So yes, I do have to go to here, it looks like. And then I have to jump to there. Bam, there we go. There we go. We're making, we're going places. We're going places, guys. We're going places like down, down, down. Okay, I actually thought I was going to fall there for some reason. My gut instinct told me I was going to fail. How is that for a gut instinct, guys? Like, what kind of a gut instinct tells you you're going to fail? Like, a, like, not a very good one. Okay, I'm guessing if I go down there to get after that, um, it's gonna mean bad news bears. Um, like, I probably can't- yeah, see, I can get down there from ladders way up above. Uh, actually, I don't know, I might be able to get down there, but I, I wanna be sure that if I go down there, I can get back up when I'm all done. So yeah, those are the three things that I wanted to talk about in this video, and, uh, I'm glad that we have now. I feel like we are- we are better people as a result. Okay, um... If those are supposed to be difficult, I apologize. T3C, Tetrix. I always call him T3C, even though his name is Tetrix. The guy who made this map, his name is Tetrix. Alright, so then just swing around the corner there. Um, I don't... Oh, wait a minute. Can I actually go... Is there a door over here to go through for this? Oh, that's like a maze thing where, like, you climb up that thing. It's like Legends of the Hidden Temple. Where, where like, you have to climb up and down stuff in order to get the things. Like, that. that's my guess. Maybe it's... I think it might actually start right there. So maybe, maybe we should actually, um, if I go down there, go through that, you know what, let's do it because it appears as if, like as long as I can get back to where I started, that's, that's what counts. So let's go ahead and let's head through here. Yeah. Okay. So that's not too bad. Cool. 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 And then there is a chest right here and then there's another drop down right here, which doesn't lead to anything. It's probably just, probably just a toilet or something to try and fool you. All right. We're, we're, we're 12 minutes into this. We're making really good time. I feel like. Uh, as, un unless I fall here or something, which may happen, you, you never know. Um, okay, so then I have to, I have to, have to, I, I would actually rather make the jump from about here. Just so I, just so I know that for a fact, oh god, actually that might be bad. Whew, I'm very glad that I didn't just fail that. Okay, and so the secret of this kind of a jump is that you need to slightly face away from the wall and then rotate towards it right at the end. So BAM! Yay! We've cleared challenge 9 and we made pretty decent time in the process. And I was able to get everything done that I needed to get done. And now there's a drop down right here. I'm curious as to what this is. What is this? What is this? What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh! Wait, was this like a checkpoint that I didn't know about or something? Okay. Oh, so, oh, well, I don't actually know. What, what, what was this even for? Wait, it opened more than one door, I just noticed. Oh, it opened that door. Okay. Which allows me to get another diamond. Yay! <laughs> I knew that I heard the door opening sound twice. I'm like, what? What? Yeah. All right. So we have completed challenge nine. Uh, coming up in the upcoming stages of T3C or TPC parkour, because I keep saying TPC. The upcoming stages, uh, we actually have the more difficult stages coming up. So I hope you guys are looking forward to the frustrations and stuff that are coming up in the future. So anyways, guys, hope you all have enjoyed. My name is Ant Venom, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.